So there's multiple things that these industry field trips really help with. Again, thanks for having me on the show. I love you guys, love what you're doing. And, um, but I have a class about trade shows and trade show design and about event planning and project management around kind of the trade show world. And when you have an 18 year old student or 19 year old student and you start talking about trade shows, they're kind of like, what are you talking about? And I can spend considerable amount of time of like, oh, do you know, like CES or SEMA or um, Con Egg or pick the show, right? And, and they still don't necessarily get it. But if we get in university vans, we drive to McCormick Place and we go to last fall, we went to RSNA, for example, and we got to see the exhibits be set up before showtime and the students got to see the forklifts running around and they got to see the exhibits being built and it provides them invaluable experience about buildability in that case but then the next day the carpets all rolled out there's um, aisle carpet and the lights are on and they get to see showtime and they come back to me and they're like so satchel you were trying to explain to me what a trade show was why didn't you just explain this to me and um and it's really hard to um, do that in a classroom setting. And the it's really important that we have the classroom and that we have the labs that we have, but it's really important to go to where the action is. And it's one of the things that there are certain companies that have been really supportive in this effort. For example, Hill & Partners has allocated funds to help with these industry field trips. And without organizations like that, it makes it hard to... Um, to do these types of things. But if we can take students to where the action is, the lights come on and they don't only just see it as what a trade show is, but they start to see themselves in the trade show industry. And they start to go like, oh, so this is what a designer does. And this is what a project manager does. And, you know, I could actually do this and I can feel the energy during a show. It's one of those things that is um, very difficult to explain the the pulse or the heartbeat of a trade show event until you're actually there and you can see the people feeling alive and you can feel crowds coming to life and it's and that these are really meaningful events for where commerce occurs and where learning occurs and where marketing occurs and where people have fun and celebrate their community of practice. And so when students see that, even if it's RSNA, a radiology show, um, they can see how these events kind of happen. This fall, we brought students to SEMA, which is a much more exciting show for students than maybe RSNA. But um, so we got to see the setup again. And then the day of when showtime hit there's music there's life to these events and getting students to these types of events is so so important so and you drive and you drive the students there satchel so when we go to chicago we drive we're planning in the spring here we're going to be going to exhibitor live in nashville and we're planning on driving to nashville it's about a 16 hour drive we can get to chicago in about nine hours um we're trying to um, make those dollars last as long as possible. Um, yeah. And so, you know, it doesn't necessarily need to be a huge contribution, even if you want to um, sponsor like uh, a meal or something um, that is just really, really, really appreciated. And, well, you know, that's, a, that's a great, can I, so can I ask you, so you drive six or seven hours to Chicago. Yeah. You got first time students that get to see that for the first time. What's the drive home? sound like for i mean after the energy and the aha moment what do you what do you what do you hear them i mean are you is there anybody that's going this is definitely what i want to do for a living i had no idea i mean what kind of stuff yeah that's it i mean i had no idea is just and you go into these when one of the things we try to plan for if we go to las vegas is we'll do like an industry tour at an exhibit house or something like that and they get to see the different departments and then they get to see how it all kind of fits together. The um, almost like the design, the project management. And then you go out into the shop and you see all the um, storing of exhibits and the building of exhibits and you see the, the AV stuff. 
and they can start to see this puzzle that is really hard to manage if you haven't seen it come together and then they start to see their fit in it and they can say, you know, I really love the large format graphics and I'd love to see myself doing that or, oh, I love what the interactive kind of department is doing with um, all the on-screen digital components or I really like the 3D side and then you have students that love kind of the the planning or the, the project management side. And so we're bringing students that are learning about this in the classroom and starting to see their fit and the chatter on the way back is so fun and it makes it makes us feel like we're onto something. Does that make sense? Because like if we think about the body, like we have the curriculum and we have faculty and we have the brick and mortar of the buildings. And so that's like the body. But if we can have like one hand on partnerships and that's industry partnerships, it's academic partnerships. Our industry partners are like EDPA and IFAS. And then the academic partners are like two-year schools because students that are learning stuff at two-year schools, we want them to come to Bemidji State and learn about exhibit design or learn about event planning and project management. And then the other hand, if we can have it on like the future and thinking about tools like AI, but also thinking about how we can get the students to where the action is, um, like that's how I feel like our hand is on the future here at Bemidji State and in higher ed. And there's a lot of skepticism in higher ed right now. But one of the things that Bemidji State's doing a great job of is having our hand on industry partners and having a hand on the future and just really trying to get students there. And when students are there, industry comes in and they get to kind of be a part of the experience. So if, um, if we go to Vegas and Chris meets up with us there, and he gets to walk around and he gets to share his knowledge. He's like, man, I really am buying into what's going on at Bemidji State. And, um, and because he's an active participant in the curriculum and what the students are learning. And he gets to share his world and hopefully the, the students' world, you know, because a lot of students fall into yeah. this industry. And um, one of the ways that people fall into the industry is there's a time of whether they like it or not. And a lot of our graduates have already been sold on the industry. And so they're already excited. 